And as concerns over increased gun violence in Lexington grow, advocates are addressing the issue at a community forum. Yeah, it's going to happen later tonight at the new Taste Creek High School here in Lexington. LX 18's Evelyn Schultz is live there this morning with details on the meeting. Good morning, Evelyn. Dia, Chris, that's right. That forum is happening here at Tate's Creek High School on Center Parkway in the student auditorium. One Lexington and 8th District Council member Fred Brown are hosting the forum. It starts at 6 o'clock tonight. According to organizers, they want to hear from people in the Gainesway neighborhood about their concerns. Also, neighbors are going to get the chance to hear about what the city is doing to fight gun violence. Again, that forum starts at 6 o'clock tonight, and it's happening inside the student auditorium at the new Tate's Creek High School. This forum comes as there's an increased level of concern all across the city over gun violence, especially when it comes to our young people. Just last week, we covered two shooting homicides with victims under 30. On Wednesday, a 29 year old man was shot on Dakota Street. His name was Dietrich Murray, and he later died at UK Hospital. Then on early, early on Friday morning, there was a deadly shooting on Devonport Drive. 26 year old Juan Fonseca died and a 17 year old has been charged in his death. Those are the latest incidents in what's set to be a record breaking year for homicides all across the city. Well, so Evelyn, let's take a look at the numbers. How are they adding up here in Lexington this year? Yeah, Dia, I looked at data from Lexington Police this morning. At this point in 2021, there had been 27 homicides. So far this year, there have been 33 homicides. At least 27 of those incidents this year involved guns. Police have also confirmed 11 of the homicides this year have been related to domestic violence. Evelyn Schultz live in Lexington this morning. Evelyn, thank you.